The University of Texas houses over 1,200 student-run organizations. Among that 1,200 is one you've probably never heard of, and it seems they like it that way. Founded in 2006, the Longhorn Lock Picking Club has slowly distanced itself from the university campus. They now meet informally every two weeks at Spider Cow's Cafe. The only directive as to which table they will be at is look for the locks. It's a, a common saying about lock picking is that it's kind of like solving a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded. So, I'd say it's true. And the way you get the lock open is that you get every single one of these to match up perfectly with the shear line. So you lift all these up, some of them are going to bind, actually a lot of them are going to bind on the, the red piece. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah I forgot that there were different lengths. Yeah. That's why uh, if you actually look at a key, you can kind of you can kind of imagine what you know the inside of the lock looks like. Yeah. Uh, I'm Brian Hill, and I'm actually a staff member. I work for ITS. Two of our other officers uh, they work for the Information Security Office at UC Austin. I've always had an interest in security, and oh, I like Batman and. Uh, Sam Fisher and characters like that, I you know, want to be a little more like those types of heroes that uh, they have skills and they apply them in uh, good ways. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm also interested in security and in information security. Uh, a lot of people who work for security companies, including our own information security office, uh, they know how to pick locks and they're aware not just of cybersecurity but physical security. Because there's a lot of overlap. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I want to move in that direction, so I thought it'd be a good thing to do. Are you guys kind of intentionally secretive? Um I can't answer that but first, a lot of the info's out there now on YouTube, uh, the MIT website uh, has a guide on it. Uh, there's Several well, tool the open organization lock pickers. They have lots of materials, great materials. Uh, every year at DEF CON and other security conferences, they have one or more lock picking related presentations. So um, it's just a good thing to be aware of. And if you learn about it, you'll become more aware of your own security in your home and elsewhere. And uh, Hopefully, you'll come to value it a little more. Whenever you go to a store and see a, a $10 lock, you get what you pay for. There are much better locks out there. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, uh, it's always changing. You know, lock pickers are always finding new ways to pick locks, and lock manufacturers are always making better and uh, crazier locks. It's, it's really interesting. It's a good back and forth back and forth. Um, well, I'm a locksmith. I've yeah. been a locksmith for a year and a half now. Uh, but I actually started lock picking about uh, three or four years ago. Um, so it's actually what kind of got me into my career, I guess I'd say. Uh, I got into it by actually researching computer security and by extension of computer security. Um, it, it became something that I was interested in, uh, so I actually ended up uh, being a pretty serious hobby of mine for a while, and enjoyed it so much that I figured that I wanted to actually get into more so physical security rather than pure security. Uh, once I had uh, discovered more and more about physical security, um, so that kind of brings me to where I am now in uh, my career as a locksmith. Yeah, I, uh, I used to solve Rubik's Cubes as a bit of a hobby, uh, and which kind of naturally uh, became my replacement to a Rubik's Cube. Um, it's just really satisfying to see that one instant when it's just suddenly solved. 